How does optical disc burning work? Well, imagine you've got a shiny plastic frisbee and you want to store your favourite playlist on it forever, or at least until somebody leaves it in the sun. That's a CD or DVD. Burning it doesn't mean setting it on fire. It's not a barbecue for music. It's more like tattooing data into a heat sensitive dye layer inside the disc. Here's what happens. The disc already had a reflective surface. Your burner uses a high powered laser. Think of it as a very, very patient lightsaber to heat up microscopic spots in that dye. Heating changes the dye structure so that it reflects light differently. No actual holes, no smoke, just molecular level sunburn. Those changed spots are called pits, and the unchanged parts are lands. The data isn't the pits themselves, but the transitions between them. Every time the laser switches from pit to land, that's how the ones and zeros are encoded. When you play it back, the drive uses a low power laser shining onto the disc and reading the reflection. And rewritable discs, those use a special phase change material. Heat it one way, it goes crystalline or reflective. Heat it another, it goes amorphous or dull. So yes, your CDRW is basically a tiny mood change ring that changes structure every time you burn it. One small catch, writable discs don't last as long as factory pressed ones. The organic dye layer can degrade over time, while pressed discs use permanent metal pits. So your home movie archive might age about as gracefully as a VHS left in the sun. I know none of my Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan fiction survived 20 years on a pan shop CDR, that's for sure. So next time somebody says they're burning a disc, don't panic. It's not arson. It's just very precise heat therapy for plastic. More of this from the nudiest people you know at craigandave.org.